beautiful morning, sunshine. It is hair wash day. I think we need it. Tonight we have a Christmas party. Um, a neighborhood, it's just like a neighborhood party. And um, it'll be our first one because we moved here in February and I'm really excited. It's one of the neighbor's houses that we actually haven't met yet. We've met most of the neighbors, but this neighbor we haven't met, it just hasn't worked out. Or we've been able to go to the things where she's been or she's hosted. And so I'm really, really excited about it. So anyway, I want to start the day and I want to wash my hair. Utilizing the screen time, my kids are watching Mario, um, the Super Mario movie, which Lily's currently obsessed with. So um, let's wash my hair and then I'm going to clean this bathroom. It's disgusting. And my house cleaners come today. And you know all those like memes about like, the house cleaners are coming. We have to clean up so they don't think we live in this filth. I just, here's my theory is like, I don't, this is, this is what my mom told us all growing up when house cleaner, when our house cleaners would come, it was like, we don't pay our house cleaners to pick up after us. They come to like clean things, right? Like clean the surfaces, dust, whatever. So like, we always had to pick up everything before cleaners came and I'm of that mindset. I'm like, they don't even know where everything, they don't know where everything goes. Like, and I've had the same one now for many months. So she knows, she does know more of that, but like, I don't need her to pick up my dirty laundry off the floor and put it in my laundry basket. I don't want her to like organize my vanity. Like that should be done so that she can easily get to things and then she can move things around to clean and put them back in the place. But anyway, and cause Tim is always like, why are we doing this? And I'm like, because it's not her job to pick up after me. Okay. If I'm a pig and I live like a pig, sometimes it's still my job. It's my job to not be a pig when she comes and then she can get to things, okay? Okay. Anyway, I'll show you the lineup. So before I get in the shower, I recently tried the Divi line by Danny Austin, and it makes my hair super greasy, and I'm going to continue to try it, um, but not today. Today I'm gonna use, I'm almost done with my Olaplex, so I'm gonna use my Olaplex purple shampoo because my hair really needs a tone and my Olaplex shape, I like mix these two together. Oop. And then my Olaplex conditioner. And then I will use this. I love it. It's like pregnancy safe. There are so many exfoliators that are not pregnancy safe, you guys. And then um, I'm almost out of my native body wash too. I don't think I'll do a scrub today. So that's the hair lineup is Olaplex today. Let's get to it and wash this mop. Okay. I just got out of the shower. I thought I would show you guys a couple skincare things. So I wash my face every day with the best skin ever, Seabuckthorn. This is all clean skincare. Um, this literally, I have gone through 20 plus bottles of this. Um, and so what I do is I take like a reusable facial towel. This one's not really dirty because I only use this one on my clean face. So it's just orange from the oil. So you wet it, it's an oil cleanse. So you wet it and wring it out. And then do, I usually do three pumps. And I already exfoliated, so I used my coconut scrub in the shower. And I normally do this cheek down, and then you you wet it again, wring it out, a few more pumps. This is why I've gone through 20 bottles of it. But I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. If there was one skincare thing I would tell you that's like my hack, it's this. This is, I go down my neck. I do not get like very many breakouts. I mean, this is just so moisturizing. My skin leaves a little bit more dry now. And then I'm just gonna do a couple more pumps. I might do my forehead. And then, oh yeah, just, I'm not kidding you guys. This is the secret step. It's a secret step. If you follow, I don't know if you pronounce it N-O-Y skincare or Noy skincare, but is it Diana? She is, or I think it's Diana is her name. Anyway, she got me into this. I love her and she's like all into clean, clean stuff and she's a facialist and an a probably an esthetician too. I'm not sure all her titles, but anyway, and then you wet it and you don't wring it out and go over it one more time. Um, she got me hooked on it. I actually ordered the sandalwood one cause she raves about that one too, but this is the one she uses every day. So now I dry it off, like tap dry it and then I'm gonna take, do my normal thing. I'm gonna do two, three pumps on my hand and then I rub it together and then I do a facial massage every morning and every night. This is what I do. And if you have sinus pain, if you have 
wrinkles, if you have lines, if you have tension in your face, you guys, I'm telling you, you just, I'm, I'm being light, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, just like massaging upwards, massaging my skin, it helps draining the lymph, it helps with everything, it gives you a lift, it does, just like massaging your face, it relaxes those muscles, pulls out some of that tension, especially like in my jaw, and like this is not a formal technique, this is just what I do, I kind of like split my fingers. And then I'll wrap up both sides. It, honestly, it just feels so good. And I just feel like every time I do it, my skin glows. Like it, if I don't do this, it just like wakes my skin up. It just wakes my skin up. My skin makes it glowy, especially I have, I tend to get that line right in the middle right here. So I just kind of massage that out. I also use face tape for it, but I haven't been using it much this pregnancy because I've honestly been so sick that I just can't be bothered to put it on. So I'll just kind of massage that muscle where I usually get that little, you know, forehead wrinkle right there. And then I just kind of massage this up and out. Oh my gosh. Just, and I'll do this for however long I want. And I just, I like, it's really also just pushing that moisturizer into the skin. And I'm actually going to layer a serum on top of it. I just use this for the massage portion. Oh. And I kind of use, I kind of really rub in all my ingredients um, like this. Not to the same extent of the massage, but oh gosh, that feels so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse my hands off. And I am gonna put on my, I never know if it's O'Shea or Osea, Osea, the Hyaluronic C Serum. I'm almost, done with this and I want to start that fresh tea one that I showed you guys the other day but that's gonna come in a few days mm, I'll put this all over and I'm gonna put on my Peter Thomas Roth eye patches so I'm not gonna do uh I'm not gonna do my eyes yet okay rub that in and then these are pregnancy safe. They're the gold ones, the 24 karat gold um, eye patches, and I am almost out. I should have gotten these with my 20% off at Ulta. So I'm just gonna take one and put it on each side while I dry my hair. I'll just leave them on. I don't time these, you guys. I just know when they're all the stuff is there and absorbed, and I just take them off after a while. But I think it says like 10 to 20 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna leave those there. Use this to get them out. That way you don't contaminate them with your bacteria from your hands. And then I will tell you what I do for my eyes is I do the Ocean Eyes by Osea, and then I do the plant description on top of that, eye cream. And then I'm using this Ursa, Ursa Major um, Golden Hour Recovery Cream, which has the sea buckthorn in it and calendula as my moisturizer. And I will do that every single day. Sometimes that sea buckthorn and the Serum on top of it is enough for me, and sometimes I need a little bit more. So we'll just see how I feel in a few minutes. Um, nice toilet in the background, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna dry my hair. I'll just see you guys in a few minutes. We're going to wave it today. I love my bedhead. Tiggy, Tiggy. Why can't I pronounce anything today? Like, what's the matter with me? I love that waver. Um, oh my gosh, although like the slick look. I don't want to do that right when I fresh wash my hair though. I'm probably going to wave it. It's hard. I usually like to, when I have hair wash day, I usually like to keep my hair straight the first day, like a blowout style. And then um, I wave it like the second day. But we have this Christmas party tonight and I want to wave it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm really, really gentle because my hair is processed and I'm, I'm pregnant and about to be postpartum in a few weeks, a couple weeks at this point, not even a few. My midwife was like, yesterday at my appointment, she was like, so have you thought about being induced at 39 weeks? Do you want to do it? Are you interested at all? And I was like, no, but like, I don't really want to go past 40. So like, if I make it that far, we can talk about it. We have to like push these up a little bit more. Probably because I already put that seat book door on. Um, but anyway, uh, and I was like, no, I don't want to. 
And she was like, okay, well, if you wanted to, that'd be, we could do it 12 days from now. Do you want to have a baby in 12 days? I was like, what? <laughs> I was so shocked at how few days that was. Okay, I'm going to sit down and dry my hair. And then um, I think I'll be back. Depends on if my kids are restless or if they're good. Um, but I will definitely see you later. Okay, hair is dried. My patch is off. Kids are still good, so I thought I'd show you <laughs> my ocean eyes. Pat that in. I don't always do this after my Peter Thomas, the Peter Thomas rub yet. I'm just gonna just do this. I'm not gonna do um, the origins, just that ocean eyes. And then I think today I am gonna go for a little more hydration, so I am gonna use this Ursa Major. They're watching me out of the morning. Um, they didn't watch the whole movie. I haven't taken that long. They were like more than halfway through it, so. But honestly, I've kind of given up screen time guilt because I have to be able to take care of myself and taking care of these kids. There's always stuff to do, you know? And I need to be able to have like 30 minutes to not feel like trash garbage, whether that means meditate or move my body. And if they'll entertain themselves, I always try to see if they'll like play first, entertain themselves. Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. And that's okay. And I don't have to feel bad about it because I deserve time to take care of me too. I don't feel like I need to justify that. Yeah, baby. It, <laughs> I think we're gonna be all done. I think mommy's all done, okay? I'll come in in just a minute. All right, so that's skincare done. I've done my skincare. I'm gonna finish getting my clothes on and then get these babies fed more than just the bars, but the bars work in the morning when you need to get stuff done. They're travelable. Put them in a bowl, have them carry them around, sit on the floor, it all works out. All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so the girls and I are heading to do a Target pickup order. I did not do my makeup yet, but I did, um, I was just telling Tim, I was like, it's amazing how showering and washing your hair really changes a person. So I am just very pleased that I did that this morning and I'm feeling like this is a great start to Friday. And now we're gonna go pick up some groceries, <coughs> some just like essential things, and then some sheets that I had ordered from Target for pickup from the girls' beds so that I can lay them out for when the house cleaners come today. And we are gonna have a great day. And I thought we would do our cheer together today. Should we teach them our cheer, Isla? Yeah. All right. This is a cheer whoa, whoa. that we learned from Lindsay whoa, Girk mommy. on Instagram. What? Uh, who, who are we talking mommy. to? Yeah. The internet. Uh, so anybody who watches this video that I post, okay? So Lily, your responses are yes. Lily has been te teasing us, right? And she's been saying no, hasn't she? She's so silly. But this is a cheer that we do every day that we learn from Lindsay Girk. <coughs> We put a little bit of our own spin on it, but mostly it is Lindsay's share. And so if you follow her on Instagram, I'm not on Instagram anymore, but she, I go in sometimes and check on her and she's awesome. She's a mom. She's freaking amazing. She has a great voice. Anyway, are we ready? Yeah. Are we caring? Yeah. Are we kind? Yeah. Do we love our, love our bodies and our minds? Yeah. Are we creative? Yeah. Are we courageous? Yeah. Is the love and light we show just so contagious? Yes. Lily, the only answers we will accept are yes. Can we get a yes? No, no. <laughs> are we gonna have a great day today? Yeah. Woo! I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. I love you. All right. We hope you guys have the best day ever. We're gonna have the best day ever. We'll see you later. Mwah. Just my two cents and the unsolicited advice that you didn't ask for. But like being present with your kids and being able to like enjoy your kids and enjoy not just your kids, but like enjoy your work, enjoy fill in the blank, whatever it is. Enjoy your day, enjoy your life is like, you can't be focused on two things at one time. This is what I found for myself. And I think it's especially as a mom, like when I was working, you know, I can multitask when I'm working, when I'm working, but like when I'm 
working and then my mom's calling me and then I'm thinking about the laundry I have to do and making a grocery list at the same time. Like splitting your mental attention is going to make you feel fractured and it's going to make you feel, it's going to make you feel more reactive. It's going to make you feel more on edge. It's going to make you feel, um, I mean like really like fractured is like the word that comes to mind. For instance, like I have had to get work done this morning. Like I have like hours of work that have to get done. So I've had to do different things for my kids so that like set them up. But it's like every time they come in and need something, it's like, I literally feel fractured. Like I feel like I'm gonna go crazy a little bit. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, it drives me crazy a little bit. And it makes me feel reactive. It makes me feel fr really frustrated. And it makes me feel frustrated with them. It makes me frustrated with me. It makes me frustrated with work. Um, because like splitting time like that is just like in the same moment is like very, very, very hard to do. Like we are not meant to split our attention it, like and enjoy it. <laughs> you know, it's like we, when we focus on one thing, we're going to be happier. And I have found that over the last... I mean, like over the, over the years, like for sure, and especially being a mom, but even over the last few days, I've just like really noticed it. Like yesterday I had one of the best days ever and I was able to like mostly focus on the kids. And, um, and when I was doing something else, what, what do you mean? Does she have that one? That's your remote. The green one is your remote, Lily. The one around your arm, honey. And Mario's hard to play, baby. It's a hard one. But even like right now filming this video, it's like, I can't, you know, like when they need me, I need to be able to give that attention. And I, and I want to do things like this when like they don't, you know, and it's hard to like perfectly align things like that. And life doesn't really work out like that with everything. But anyway, just my two cents that like really like a lot of joy in life and a lot of you, you, you keep hitting that little button, honey, the one I showed you. You got to hit it again. Lily, back away from the screen. It's not a touch screen. Okay, but it's not a touch screen. Just wait for one minute, okay? But even right now, it's just this, like, internal conflict of, like, I, they need me there. But, like, I really wanted to film this little clip. And it just is hard. And I definitely enjoy my life more. I'm happier. I'm a more pleasant person. I'm a more, like, uh stable person like mentally physically emotionally spiritually all things when I can be focused in my attention on what I'm doing and um anyway so it's not like I don't know that it's even advice it's just like think something that I have thought about a lot you're gonna have to wait just one minute Isla okay you're gonna have to wait one minute um it's something that I have thought about a lot is uh is just this concept and just that I absolutely when I'm trying to do two things at one time and I'm trying to do them both well it is wildly frustrating for me so um like right now is a perfect example <laughs> perfect example so I'm gonna go help my children I'll see you guys later